Hey, hello everybody, welcome to the sound test room. Today we are taking a look at Scalar 2 and um, Scalar 2 Control, which is the MIDI part of Scalar 2. So how you can get Scalar to control your uh, AUV3s, etc. and stuff like that. So I've started it like this this evening, so we're going to go from scratch. Uh, and this is how I would suggest you do it. I mean, you can do this any way you like, you know, but this is what I would suggest and how, how it works uh, easier for me and make sure workflow just a little bit quicker and kind of more logical. So the first thing we're going to do here, obviously, is we're going to open a MIDI track and then one audio track to start. OK, and I'd like to say hi to everyone who's here in the chat as well. Thank you very, very much for joining me this evening where we are taking a look at Scalar and the MIDI part of Scalar Control, a uh, Scalar, which is called Scalar Control 2. OK, so here we go. In the MIDI, we'll open a Scalar Control 2. And this is what you will see. This is what it's called in the MIDI Scalar Control. I'm going to open another one as well and just show you. So you're looking for Scalar Control 2. OK, and then in this, the first thing I'm going to do is audio unit extension and I'm going to open low fi tape. Now, of course, you can use any AUV3 you like, but I'm going to start with low fi tape piano, well, keyboard. But I'm going to go in here and I'm going to select just to start coffee piano because I really like that sound. Right. Open Scalar 2 again and no, actually, don't open Scalar 2. Well, you can if you like. Open a little toaster just to the left of Scalar icon. And where it says MIDI output, tap on this and select the AUV instrument you want to control. In our case, it's lo-fi tape. Okay, so now we're ready to... <clears throat> we're ready to start, basically. So we open Scalar. Let's make it full screen so we can see what we're doing. So first of all, we want to start by selecting some chords and stuff. Well, I'm going to start by opening songs here and I'm going to go to cinematic. Now, again, this is entirely up to you. You can choose anything you like. I'm just going to go to cinematic and I'm going to go to horror four. OK, now if I play. Let's turn low five tape up so this is now playing lo-fi tape and we can we can audition that we can play it too fast for me so what I'm gonna do initially for this particular kind of thing I'm going to open my little settings menu and where it says chord duration I'm going to set that to eight beats okay which is essentially two bars okay and now I'm going to go back into scalar sorry I'm just going to close this and play now hi Chem hi Tommy hi Stephen Hi Sam, hi Wall, hi uh, anyone else who's watching who I may have missed. I do a hi Jim, L Waves. So now it's taking two bars to play each of those, and they're suitably sinister for a kind of a horror type soundtrack sort of thing. So. What we're going to do is we're going to drag some of these chords down into section C here, which is our pattern building section. So we've got, just grab that down there. And if we want to, we can just long hold here and select the rest of them and drag them all down. And now, brilliant. So there we've got our, our kind of sinister chords to go with our our idea what we're building up. So now this is important, I, and I'll say this now in case anyone just decides they've had enough of this and goes away. Um, make Do all your adjustments, all your settings, all your chord building, all your pattern building, all your initial settings, do it all in one scalar. Don't, when you start doubling up and syncing stuff, 
if you want to make changes then it becomes more tricky so make sure you've got your session set exactly how you would like it in your first scaler okay so the next thing i am going to do and i haven't synced it to the door yet i can do the work in here so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to go into perform because i don't want these playing just one course so i'm going to go into perform here like this and go what kind of performance would i like i'm going to go into performance and i'm going to go into maybe Adagio or Expressivo or Moderato or Vivace or Triplet Feel. I'm going to even said that in Italian is Triplet Feel. Um, I don't know. And go into Common Performances. No, I'm going to go into Adagio because it's nice and slow and that's what I'd like. And I'm going to first of all select this one and see what it sounds like so I can play down here. I don't really like that one it, it's good but I'd rather it be something else so I'm gonna just scroll down this is the one I want okay so now I've got that nice rhythm going now if we want it to loop, if we want to hear it loop, you just hit the little loop button and it will it'll, it'll loop through. But for now, uh, now we need to give our piano a little more, a little more volume, I think. Let's go back to um, this page and give it some volume, just a little bit. And oh, actually, what I'll do is I'll just start it off. I'll have it on loop. Hi B Jammin, hi Jamie, hi Alan. <clears throat> I'm gonna do the human eyes actually, you're right. So oh, not connected yet. Right, so we have this little pattern going. Again, I'm gonna go into settings here and let me see i'm not going to turn on door sync yet or anything like that so i'm going to leave that as it is for for the moment and i'm happy with the tempo i just want to check some Right, so that's good, happy with that. So now I'm gonna go into pattern two here, and maybe for pattern two I'll select horror three and see what that sounds like. Okay. I don't want to be too fussy. I'm going to go to pattern two. I'm going to grab all of those like that. And I'm just going to drag them down into pattern two. So there we have two patterns. I'm not going to go any further. I don't need to, not in this video. So. Go back to pattern one. Okay, so now I am going to do something else. I am going to chain these patterns together and this will, this will become apparent where, who's it, who's it? David Lee Nelly's here folks, David Lee Nelly from Italy. David Lee Nelly from Italy, you know, Cornetto. Right, okay, so we're gonna chain these two patterns together. Okay, so I'm gonna long hold here, anywhere here, and I'm just gonna go like this, you see, and I've selected my two patterns. Now, theoretically, what will happen now is when I press play, it will play pattern one, then pattern two, then go back to pattern one.
Okay, so we know that's worked. <clears throat> and this is one of the things I'm saying is make sure before you start duplicating more instruments and getting all to play all sorts of other cool stuff, get everything done and exactly right in your face scaler and i promise you it will make your life super super simple much easier much more stress-free now we could go on we could, uh, in fact what i will do is i will add the humanized element to both the timing and the velocity it won't be super noticeable but what it will make a difference okay so righty ooh. so we've got this now this is our first one right so let's do this. Okay, so we can close that for now. That's fine. Oh, I tell you what I will do is something else, which is important. I'm going to open my settings now and go down to door sync. And door sync, you will see, well, hopefully you will see, is, yeah, you can see, it's switched off. We're going to tap on this and we're going to switch it on, okay? And go back to settings and close this. Now what will happen, you'll see that there is this has changed it's a little play pause button but now we can start it with our door now if you were only using one scaler that you know it's like you know it's not that necessary but we're not we're using these and this is it this is so what we're going to do is we can look at pad mode and you'll see we have two sets of pads you can see that we're bound on both because these both flashing so if i press play on thing it would still play those two patterns we can go back to our main screen it's still going to play pattern one and pattern two now you can go on and add as many patterns as you like that's absolutely fine you know so the this that's cool beans but now we're going to do something which way way more cooler now. So we're going to go in here and add another interrupt audio, and we'll go to audio unit extension. And I am going to find. Oh, actually, what I need to do is I'm going to go out of AUM. This is uh, this is important for this. I'm going to search for Galileo. 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 And because I haven't opened this yet, uh, I need to go to effects and everything should be on not store and you'll see it says 249 i'm going to just hit restore purchases come on uh, install there you go it's done because okay because when i go into i can close that now as well when i open galileo up as an auv3 it will ask me to restore the purchases in there uh, you know the effects and stuff so pff, that's 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 why I've just done that. Now I'm going to get some light on the situation here because it's starting to get a bit darker. For, for my benefit, I'm going to say. Okay, that's better. Right, so I'm going to do this. Go to audio unit extension and I'm going to search for Galileo. Gal. Again, you can use any, any, any organ you want. I'm going to turn this down and... Right, that's fine for now. I'm just going to leave it. Now I'm going to open another scaler, and this is where you start to need to pay attention. Okay, so I'm going to open up that scaler there, and just in case I get that far, although it's not really that necessary, although I think maybe I'll open another two. Okay, so I'm going to open an audio extension, scaler two. I'm going to do this, scalar 2. And this is the scalar control, don't forget, the scalar MIDI that we're opening. All right, so scalar 2. Now, here's the thing. Your original scalar, which is scalar number 1, you want to go in here. And this is key. This is key. This will this will allow you to make super duper sessions and be very, very cool. Making sure that all your work has been completed in the original scaler. That's all your chord progressions, the chords you want, how you want them to play. Uh, it's not so much, in, the performance isn't so much important because we can change that and that's what we're going to be doing. But the actual structure of the song, that is what you need to be setting up in one scaler. Then tap on the scaler icon inside the app and hit sync. And you will see any second now, this will see three other instances are connected. Okay. Three other instances are connected. Now, I, I you can just about see that, I think, if I kind of just bring this down just a little tiny bit so you can see it properly, what it says, which I can't now see this at all. <laughs> 
I'll have to bring it back up in a little bit in a minute. You'll see that it says three other instances connected, right? This is key. These, you need to select what you want to copy to your other scalers, what you want to sync. You might only want to sync the sound. You might only want to sync the selected scale. You might only want to sync the chord progression. But because I've set everything up exactly how I want it to be, I'm going to sync the entire state, which is this last button here. Whoops. Just go to sync again. And you have to press it and then press sync. And if you come out now, you'll see here that they're syncing with the other scalers. And when they're done, these will disappear as information boxes. So now all three scalers are synced. Now I'm going to have to bring my light up a bit for me. So if we close this scalar, which we know is scalar one, and open this scalar and open it, it's exactly the same. If we go to our pad, you see it's got all the same stuff. It's identical. They're all now identical. So this second scalar, the second scalar, I'm going to tap on the little icon here, the little hamburger menu. MIDI output, I'm going to do this, and I'm going to send the MIDI output for scalar two to Galileo. Okay, so now we can choose a sound for Galileo. Now, they're going to play the, exactly the same thing. Listen. We'll get choose a better sound than that, obviously. We'll go to maybe... Quite, uh, quite sinister. I'm just going to put a little bit of uh, okay. Don't want them to play the same thing right <clears throat> on this second scalar and this is the scalar that's now controlling galileo we're going to go into perform and we can go back now all the way all the way to the end of performing we can say okay well what do we want it to do do we want it to be a performance like a classical thing maybe an arpeggio is going to sound really cool so we're going to open arpeggio and we'll just go um up and down and we'll see what that sounds like okay okay now <clears throat> i think i might want You'll see the timing there. Now, the note length is full, so we could have the note length half. Uh, octave range, let's have the octave range on two, and let's have the timing on one sixteenth. Okay. <laughs> Great. Okay, so I'm going to add another instrument now. And let's see what could we put in here. Mm -hmm. Let's say, let's say, oh, I, I know, I know. Let's say something like pure synth. 
Okay, so, <clears throat> excuse me, pure synth, pure, pure, pure synth. Um, God, I can see it, it's easier. Pure synth platinum. Let it load, and then I'm going to first of all just just to show you some something that is also cool that you can do, which you might not have thought of. It, what well, you might have, I don't know. We'll go here and we'll go to our, our our factory content here and I'll go to choir, maybe, where's it? Voice and choirs, cathedral, cathedral boys choir, maybe, or maybe Gregorian chant. We can check, the thing, the beauty is that we can, as the sound is playing, we can change the sound. So with our third scaler here, I'm gonna, open up the third scaler here this is the one that's going to be playing pure we need to open our little toast at midi outputs and we're going to go to pure synth platinum but for this one we'll change our perform and we'll go back and back um back and in fact we'll just turn perform off so it's just going to be playing chords and we'll see how that sounds shall we so let's see <laughs> Okay, listen to this. This is this is pure now. So we're going to go into sequence, and we're just going to whack the octave up for those those chords. So let's just stop and start again. So let's to catch up with itself. Okay, let's open another instrument now <clears throat> and let's look for say, uh, okay, I'm going to use Synthmaster 2 and this time we're going to use Synthmaster for some, some cool kind of bass, you know. So we're going to open it up here. We're going to go to browse and we're going to go with bass. And we're going to skip down from the arps and just we'll just start to run through some sound. So first of all, we're going to find our fourth, our fourth scalar now. And we're going to set the output to synth master. Okay, so you just set you just set in in, in in lines now in linear in linear fashion, so you just keep control. But we're gonna first of all before we go, we're gonna go into here and go into perform mode. And I'm gonna go all the way back, 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 and go to bass. 
okay so now i have lots of different types of bass synth wave bass rock bass trap house common bass so maybe basic one we'll start with and just see how it sounds when we start our sequencer Open this and now first of all I'm gonna go in here go into my sequence mode and start to take these up so I'm gonna Maybe take them up a little bit. Gonna go to pattern two. and start playing with that bass pattern so maybe we can you know spice it up a little bit so
here. All his doctors die of heart attacks. Two girls in their 20s. You mean he uh... All his doctors die of heart attacks. Two girls in their 20s. You mean he uh... All his doctors die of heart attacks. Two girls in their 20s. You mean he uh... All his doctors die of heart attacks. Two girls. You mean he, uh... All his doctors and they died of heart attacks. Two girls. You mean he, uh... All his doctors and they died of heart attacks. Two girls. You mean he, uh... All his doctors and they died of heart attacks. Two girls. You mean he, uh... All his doctors and they died of heart attacks. Without a body. 
Nothing you can be is more terrible than what I am. A head without a body. Nothing you can be is more terrible than what I am. A head without a body. Nothing you can be is more terrible than what I am. A head without a body. Nothing you can be is more terrible than what I am. A head without a body. Nothing you can be is more terrible than what I am. A head without a body. Nothing you can be is more terrible than what I am. A head without a body. Nothing you can be is more terrible than what I am. A head without a body. Nothing you can be is more terrible than what I am. A head without a body. Nothing you can be is more terrible than what I am. A head without a body. Nothing you can be is more terrible than what I am. A head without a body. Nothing you can be is more terrible than what I am. A head without a body. Nothing you can be is more terrible than what I am. Nothing you can be is more terrible than what I am. A head without a body. Nothing you can be is more terrible than what I am. A head without a body. Nothing you can be is more terrible than what I am. A head without a body. Nothing you can be is more terrible than what I am. A head without a body. Nothing you can be is more terrible than what I am. How can you not want Scaler? It's just the dog's bollocks. It's brilliant. Nothing you can be is more terrible than you. You're only, and it, it's not doing the work. You have to put this stuff in. You have to put the work in. You have to decide on the chords. You have to decide on the sequences. Everything. It just makes. It just. <laughs> thanks, thanks, uh, thanks, Vortex. And um, it's just absolutely bloody brilliant. It's the fucking nuts. I can't. I can't. You can build. Look, imagine you've got eight of these, or you've got like loads more stuff going. Don't forget, you can send either instrument to any other like thing, and or you could add more. Just make sure you sync them up exactly the same. All depends. The most important thing I can say to you guys is that setting the first one up exactly how you want it i bought scalar as well i it wasn't given to me for nothing i i don't know them you know what i mean i mean i know plugin uh plugin boutique and the people there but i didn't ask them for it i just thought it was that too that's a brilliant because i get loads of use out of this i think it's awesome i really do i think it's just i think it's just great because it's not, you're not, it's not taking the work out of it. To be honest with you, I could play everything here, but I would never have thought of having that, that bunch of chords. It's really cool beans. The cool be it's cool beans. Oh, it's really great. Anyway, but like, you know, awesome stuff. Um, guys, thanks so much for joining me this evening. Where we took a good look, I'll just have a mess round. Fade and bit in and out for a couple of minutes while you uh, say to our to each other. Thank you so, so, so much for joining me this evening. Tomorrow evening, we will be taking a look at, uh, I think, Bliss, Bliss, Bliss Omega, Omega, the FM synth, and a sound pack I designed for them. Um, that is an IAP that I'm very, very proud of because, you know, I've never programmed FM synthesis before in my life, and Omega made that really simple for me. So I think you'll be, I think you'll uh, quite find the patch is quite interesting. But we'll do that tomorrow anyways. Throw my can in the bin. Have a swig of me, but it's so warm here. I tell you. And next week's going to be uh, uh, here in the UK. 
is we've got severe weather war, 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 <coughs> warnings. So not looking forward to that because my room up here is upstairs and all the heat obviously rises. It's absolutely roasting in here. Anyway, gang, thank you so, so much for joining me. We took a look at how to set up from scratch. We did it from scratch. How to set up your scalar to control to control anything else you can set it up to control your hardware whatever you like whatever you like and then multiple instances of whatever and don't forget also the key thing is you can go on and on with adding sections of chords you know um well i guess at least that many for the track and it's not really that's not really scaler's job you know scaler's job is to help you get over a, a, a particular chord sequences or progressions and stuff like that. Anyway, that was in Horror 3 and just very, very, very cool stuff. Horror 3 and Horror 4 we used uh, for the first one. Well, it's doing that, but anyway, there you go. So there you go. Let's play this and, uh, yeah, awesome stuff. See you guys later. Nothing you can be is more terrible than what I am. 
Yeah.